there, brilliant people. So today I'm going to talk about something a little bit different. Uh, if you like this kind of talk, you put the, you know, put it in the comments below, hit that like button. Obviously, if you've already subscribed, welcome back. If you haven't subscribed, hit the hit hit that button and the bell. Uh, but I, today I'm going to talk about something a little bit different um, and so I just want to know if you want me to do more of these kind of talks because if if you do I will certainly be more than happy to do that. Now what am I going to be talking about? I'm talking about intuition in myth and or what our, the myths tell us about our intuition because a lot of the myths that we have you know they're you know, it was, uh, you know, it was Jung who, who talked uh, about archetypes, meaning that myths have got these sort of symbolic personalities in them that tell us about how we can relate to ourselves, how we can actually relate to all the different aspects of ourselves. Because these symbolic personalities, they're kind of like templates for, you know, who we could be or different aspects of ourselves. Anyway, so onto the myth. So what myth am I talking about today? I'm talking about one of the myths from uh, the Mabinosian, uh, which is where uh, the, it's some, a lot of the source, the original source tales for the Arthurian myths, you know, King Arthur and all that lot. So this particular story is the story of Rhiannon and Pool. So uh, Rhiannon or Rhiannon, um, I'm not quite sure which pronunciation is correct. So anyway, Rhiannon was, she was this beautiful uh, otherworldly woman. So she was, a, you know, she was a fae. She was a fairy or a creature from the other world. So she was full of otherworldly magic, essentially. And, you know, Paul heard a, a story about like if you went and and sat on this particular hillside, you would see this amazing thing. And of course, what he saw was uh, Rhiannon uh, riding past. And he, he sent his men, because you know Paul was a prince, he sent his men after her. But no matter how fast they rode their horses, they couldn't catch her. And this went on for a bit. And then Paul had a go at catching her himself and he had no luck. Until he one day was trying to catch her um, again and, you know, because she just seemed to be riding her horse quite, quite slowly, just walking along. But no matter how fast he went, he could not catch her. And then rather than trying to catch her, which was basically, yeah, you know, that's that's not good. Like he was really trying to force her to connect with him. So instead... He actually called out to her and asked her if she would slow down. In other words, he asked her to connect with him. And at that point, that's when she she actually stopped her horse and he could finally catch up to her. And, you know, they had a chat and, um, you know, they had after several adventures, they did eventually get married and you know, live happily ever after and all that kind of stuff. But all of the adventures showed that she actually had far more wisdom and far more magic than he did. But whenever he didn't show her that same respect that he had initially, like, well, I mean, like when he actually asked her, when he, when he went back to, you know, trying to force the situation or just, oh, well, I'll just make this happen. Um, yeah, it never went well. <laughs> so... What does this tell us about our intuition or what, you know, how can we look at it from the point of view of, well, if Rhiannon um, represents that otherworldly part of us, our magical side, our intuitive side, and Paul, you know, um, represents, well, maybe our ego a bit, because certainly he had one. But, uh, but actually that part of us that just wants to take control and, you know, not really particularly pay attention, which is, again, a bit of our ego. Essentially, though, if we look at him as Paul is our everyday life, like he was, he was a good prince. Um, his people were very happy. He looked after them well. 
But when it comes to having that other level of awareness or insight, we need to actually treat it with respect. We need to listen to it and not try to force it, but understand that it is a more, uh, maybe not feminine is the right word, but it's more, it is more yin. It's not something that can be forced. It is really about in many ways being more receptive, like being able to, you know, take in uh, the world rather than trying to force the world. So, yes, if we actually learn to activate our intuition by just asking and listening, definitely we will do better and perhaps we might even acquire some of the great powers that, you know, Rhea Non herself had. Anyway, so I hope you found that interesting or fun. Uh, if you want to know more about Paul and uh, Rhiannon, um, Rhea Non, uh, <laughs> just let me know in the comments below or if you want me to talk about any other myth and how that, what that tells us about our intuition, happy to talk about that too. Anyway, um, so I hope you enjoyed that and until next time, remember that you're brilliant.